It's Tikida here from Guide to Be Keeping That Info. Today we're going to talk about tree and the bees types. So let's go with a little bit of introduction about certain types of bees uh, when it comes to their behavior. So first off, social solitary. There are effectively two known types of bees if one considers the behavior dimension. In fact, there are solitary bees and social bees. What are solitary bees and what are social bees? Solitary bees are bees that do not live in a colony. On the other hand, social bees are bees that do the contrary, meaning that the queen, the workers, and the drones all live in a colony. But what about the disturbance level? Now that we've mentioned the previous types of bees, as far as behavior is concerned, it can be remarked that bees can also differ in their tolerance of disturbances. In fact, certain to colonies may abandon their hives because of disturbances. However, the level of disturbances tolerated by bees varies. Some bees can tolerate more disturbances than others. Now that I mean, now that we've said that, we are going to talk about the three honey bees types, as uh, the title of uh, this uh, presentation. So let's go. The Apis florae. First off, beginning with bees that don't tolerate a lot of disturbance, we have the Apis florae. As mentioned earlier, if the Apis florae feels disturbed, it is likely to leave its hive. Bees from this type are characterized by smaller size when compared to other bees. Moreover, it can be said of the Apis florae that they build single comb hives and are generally found in forest as well as in lush area of farming. Now we can move on to the Apis dorsata. So let's go. So the Apis dorsata. So the Apis dorsata is also called the rock bee. And it is characterized by a bigger size when you compare it to the other honey bees. Nonetheless, the Apis dorsata shares some similarities with the Apis florae that we've just talked about. And um, effectively, the rock bee also may abandon its hive because of disturbances. Additionally, the Apis dorsata constructs single comb hives like the Apis florae. Their hive can also be found suspended, like those of the dwarf bees. And when you have uh, a hive that is suspended five, 5 meters above the ground, it can serve as a protection against honey predators of larger size. Now let's move to the third type of uh, bees that we're going to talk about today, the Apis serana. So the Apis serana. In the third position, in the third position comes the Apis serana. Uh, which differs particularly from the dwarf and the rugby in the fact that the Apis serana can live and be raised in main med beehives. Moreover, the Apis serana builds their hives differently. Effectively, instead of single comb hives, particular to the two other honeybees types, here we have the parallel comb hives. Concerning the size of these bees, because the Apis serana can be found in countries with a variety of climates, a single size for this type of bees cannot be given. What is the link between the country's climates and the size of the bees? In fact, the climate seems to have an influence on the size of the bees. Consequently, because there is a variety of places where you can find the Apis serana, they have various um, sizes. <coughs> Perhaps you want to learn more about beekeeping. If this is the case, you can go to guide to beekeeping.info to get a free email course on beekeeping. So when you go to guide to be keeping that info, you have to enter your email address at the bottom of the page as well as your name and click on the button and then you have to go to your email address and confirm this subscription. And in case you want to do even more than that, you can go to guide to be keeping that info slash ebook and to learn about an ebook about beekeeping. So this is about it. I wish you a very good day. Bye.